Round one, paper versus steel sphere. Round two, aluminum foil versus steel sphere. Good morning. Today you just witnessed energy conversion in action. Let me explain. As the spheres move, they have kinetic energy given by the formula half times mass times speed squared. Now the spheres, they were pretty heavy and they were moving at maybe a few meters per second. So they at least had a few joules of energy. As the spheres collide, however, their speed decreases to zero. They come to a complete stop. This kinetic energy just doesn't disappear. The collision itself converts the kinetic energy into heat. So now let's compare the paper to the aluminum foil. If we look very carefully at the paper on the edge of the holes, you'll notice slight burn marks. When that collision took place and converted all the kinetic energy to heat, the heat energy was large enough to burn the paper, as paper burns above a temperature of 220 degrees Celsius. However, for the aluminum foil, the temperature at which it burns at is much greater. For this particular collision, there was not enough kinetic energy prior to the collision to create enough heat energy to burn the aluminum. And so because aluminum burns at a much higher temperature than paper, we would either have to increase the mass of the spheres by a significant amount, or we'd have to increase the speed at which the spheres move at in order to create a hole in the aluminum. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Have a great day. Bye-bye.